Good day, masters. Um, let me quickly explain the idea behind this masterclass and how the concept at which we are using to trade. And we have we have to ensure that um, we stick to that ideology and the plan, so that um, we always make our profits. Actually, this plan is based on research and based on different trading patterns. Okay, and um, with Royal Q, we want to ensure that. Um, you are able to make profit during the bearish and the bullish market. Okay, that is the um, idea now. You have to ensure you are making profit on both. Because if you are unable to make profit on both sides, then you might find yourself in long floating loss, and you don't want to. You don't want that to happen to you. Now, another thing I want to talk about is um, capital management. It's very vital that um, we have enough capital to trade. Okay. So whenever we find ourselves in floating loss, you know how to come out of it. And um, you don't trade with all your money. Okay? And that's the reason why on the masterclass, we made it, um, it has to be minimum of $2,000 for you to come here. And um, I welcome you all again that um, you are able to meet up to these conditions. Now, trading here is this. If there is a signal, okay, if you check this if you check here this number of buy times if you check it now this is um 60 okay plus the first buy that's 70. okay let me show you from here from here okay those and the first four calls that's 60 already plus the first by that's 70. now if you now calculate this this is 90 90 from the fifth call to seventh call that's 90 so if you add 90 plus 60 that will give us about um 150 okay so it simply means we are using the total amount we're using to trade these coins and um, if we use that amount to trade the coins, then it simply means we are res uh, we're reserving our, our capital. So that in case if the um, signal buys all the margin calls, okay, then if anything goes wrong, we can quickly replenish and move out of the trade. That is the idea. And uh, when you're replenishing, you even make more money when you're replenishing, okay? So, and sometimes we might probably want to reduce the um buy times which is you can try to reduce it or you can try to increase it whichever way sometimes we might even want to trade under hundred dollars or more or less so so when we find ourselves in floating loss we can easily move out now another thing i want to explain is how exactly do we replenish because this is very important and when to replenish we might probably be dropping the the timing Actually, you guys have to suggest to me on how this will work. Because when it comes to trading, time is very vital. Time is very vital. If I drop, okay, replenish at 8 p.m. And you're replenishing at 8 a.m., you know, it won't work. You get the market will have moved different direction. Or you're even replenishing an hour after. The market will have even moved. Okay, for you to meet up to the um, time. But well, let's see how we can manage that aspect. Now, and after you can enter this signal, this is very easy. Okay, and always make sure that um, you um, you obey the the timing. Okay, you obey the number of cells. This place is very important. This number of cells. Okay, I believe if you're in the master class, you understand what number of cells is. Okay. But if you need me to tell you, but I probably request for the video. I guess I have a video that explains this aspect. Um, that's how to enter the signal. So I explain the number of cells, how to determine the number of cells. Now, the next thing we want to look at is how to replenish. Because that is very, very vital. So I'm going to open my real queue so we can understand. How the replenishment, replenishment works okay so now let's use h bar for example this is h bar 
Now another thing I need to I need you to know is if the we are, if the bot okay buys all your margin calls instantly just switch to one shot immediately the robot has bought all the margin calls just switch to one shot so that is I, I hope that is clear now the next one we want to look at will be now here I bought total amount of each bar at $43 okay this place is very important and this place these are the two major areas you want to look at when it comes to buying or analyzing your trade okay now if you want to if i want to replenish this this is huge already okay but um i will need to ensure that um, and the, as a master in the master class if you have to replenish you are replenishing to 0 0.5 0 0.5 percent i can imagine this already this is already 34 so no i have two options either i wait or i replenish so i'll just click on buy then i'll click on market price then this let's say about need about four thousand dollars let me see yes can you see that okay let's try, let's try three thousand okay we still have good options let's try two thousand okay okay even with this it still it still makes sense okay 0.7 but let's try two five two five thank you this is 0.5 already now this is what we need to move out of this trade so by the time i replenish i will need to wait so i will add this 0.7 to my take profit that is that is 1.57 okay 1.57 so um each bar then i will need to go to my trading view okay i will drop the video for trading view so you understand how to make use of it so we're going to search for each bar search for each bar so if you are new to trading view then um, you might probably want to watch the trading view video so that you understand how the trading view can work for you so this is each bar now looking at this it simply means we have after replenishing from the current price then we have 1.57 1.57 that's our floating loss plus our take profit okay so let's measure this is current price then 1.5 1.5 okay 1.57 but this is so do you see what you need to move out of this market okay that's the reason why we have to ensure that we are not adding so much money to the trade so that we don't need a lot of money to replenish so let me look for another example before i end the video because i don't want the video to be too long so let me check another example this is h bar let me check another one that i invested about let's say okay let's check this okay this is still 40 okay that should be bnb bnb yeah beautiful so on bnb already i have 107 107 now here i want to replenish this okay i have 11 minus 11 but before i replenish i want to ensure that the market is consolidating but i'll show you how that works i click on buy okay i click on market price i want to replenish this to up to um, let's say 0.5 so if i have to do that i'll say let's say one five okay let's say two thousand two one two three yes two, i need two thousand dollars to replenish bnb okay so let's check the trading view so this 0.5 okay plus your take profit that's 1.56 that's what you need to move out of the trade let's go to trading view so let's search for bnb bnb let's search for bnb here bnb okay okay this is bnb yes can you see but now the market is still on the downtrend so let the market finish all his paparazzi okay so when you say consolidation like this area can you see is consolidating at this area let me let me mark the line 
at this area can you see this area this is consolidation can you see this can you see this can you see the consolidation actually break through can you, the reason why we call this consolidation is because you can see the um candles moving up down up down within a particular range so you track that range and you replenish other range so that's how you replenish just make we have to wait for this thing to happen it will surely happen because every every that person too they want to replenish out of the trade so can you see so let's wait okay we're going to have this maybe by today we're going to have this then we can just move out of the market so this is it can you see it so we have it here but let me just give example on how to replenish so we're going to add from the current price which is this 1.5 1.5 1 1.50 okay yeah that's it so i'll just move it all the way down all the way down yes so i need bnb to get to this place okay to end the trade yeah so that's how it works so that's how we always ensure that we replenish so let's wait for bnb to consolidate after the in the consolidation then we just clay replenish so i will just throw um, a message that replenish your this replenish your that so if you have any pending trade just let me know so i'll tell you when to replenish i'll be monitoring it for you then i'll tell you when to replenish so that is how this is the one of the major thing you want to learn on the master class okay because by the time you find yourself in floating loss you want to replenish then another thing is make sure you end your trade before you enter another trade now if we send 10 signals make sure you end all those things it might probably take you some days okay but you'll be making money every day because you are trading in some being more that's number one number two you are replenishing you are just replenishing them one after the other you are making profit along the way until when you are now done you can now enter another um set of trades because if you don't end it if you don't end those trades then there will be issues okay the issue might be maybe you are entering another region of that coin it takes you to another region entirely that's why you have to quickly ensure that you replenish it while it's consolidating okay after the pullback you have to consolidate when it's consolidating that's when you want to quickly replenish and move out of the coin okay so this is very important this part is very important please pay attention and um, if you understand let me know if you don't understand let me know so i can we can have maybe a section where I will explain and you ask questions directly. So guys, thank you. And I hope this video is going to be helpful. And I'm sure we're making profit every day. Have a wonderful day.